Walmart is making a big play in the tech world by scooping up Vizio for $2.3 billion. Walmart already sells televisions under the Hisense and On brands, but by acquiring Vizio, they'll have an even larger network to integrate their advertising into. It's estimated that Vizio has over 18 million active SmartCast accounts. That means 18 million users for targeted Walmart ads. We're gonna talk about this and much more right now on Prototopics Pulse. Walmart and the technology relationship that should have happened years ago. So, you know, we talk about TVs and we talk about Walmart. We talk about how as soon as you walk into a Walmart, you know, you look straight into the back and you see that TV wall. And I think that's one of the, the most exciting things about what Walmart had announced that they're going to be doing. And it's really a partnership between a competitor that was just annihilating Walmart on their own home field and Walmart really... One saying they wanted to take that advantage back, but they also wanted to gain the other part of the advantage that has come as a result of this TV manufacturer. So we're talking about Vizio. Uh, Walmart just announced that they're going to be acquiring Vizio for $2.3 billion. And uh, that's that's with really, a B. With a B, yeah. So that's big money. But you know the, the reason why they're doing it and the rationale behind it is really what makes it, I would say, the most exciting thing. You know, I grew up with a father who loves TVs. He says anything under a 42-inch TV is not a real TV. Uh, he makes fun of me for having a TV that's only 32 inches. And you know what? I'm fine with it. But what he really ingrained in me when I was growing up is that Walmart TVs are typically the lower end of the spectrum. And what I mean that, by that is very much so. the on-brand high sense you know high sense isn't a walmart brand but they're like lower quality tvs they're more like intro tvs where they're more affordable right and, and the pixels Vizio, might be bleeding out the top when you take it out on black friday yeah it's exactly. that, that level yeah and and i think that's one of the things where walmart's doing right now because they're trying to dive into a more high-tech approach and that's where vizio comes into play and, and I can speak from my own experience when I say I look at the TVs all the time. Walmart does a great job of suckering me into the TV wall. I'm not even going to buy a TV, but I just like looking at them because they look so crisp and clean and clear. It's incredible, right? But the biggest problem that I have with this Walmart um, approach that they've had previously was that, you know, you'd have an on TV, O-N-N, the Walmart brand. And immediately next to it for $10 more, you know, maybe $20 more, 10% increase in price, you'd have Vizio. And Vizio looked so much cleaner. It looked so much better. And it was a honestly reputable brand that did a very, very strong job of making people have a good experience with their TVs. What I mean by that, the shelf life of the TVs was great. We've heard stories time and time and time again, the on-brand TVs last two to three years. The Vizio one, I have multiple Vizio TVs that I've had for 10 plus years. And I won't yeah. get rid of them because they're powerhouses. They just do such a good job. They last for a long time. And, you know, so why would you go with this on-brand TV when you can just take one step over and go to a Vizio brand for a fraction of the price increase and get a significantly superior product? Right. So that's, that's one of the things I think Walmart's doing well. They're now, like, eating their largest competitor in the TV market there. But one of the things that I also really enjoy is that Vizio has a foothold into other TV sales locations. Best Buy sells Vizio TVs. You know, other um, TV distributors, they sell that. And Walmart could never sell on products in these other locations. Now they actually get to sell it in other places. Fantastic. But I think even aside from just the actual TV quality, we also get to talk about the advertising. Right. Right. And I yeah. think that's that's the exciting part for me here, because the OTT or the over the top advertising, which is really like if you want to think about it in simple terms, it is the old style commercials that we had on TV that were eliminated when we switched everything over to streaming. OTT really allows these companies that are whether they're like an online company or local companies or even like politicians, they can run these ads on their streaming services now and get in front of people again, which is what we lost by switching from a traditional cable to this uh, modernized streaming platform. Exactly. 
Right. And one of the things that we see that's so exciting about Vizio and makes them such like a, a good deal for Walmart, they've got a killer OTT network. It's, it's incredible. And like what they've started to do is they have their own free TV streaming. You can go on, they've got maybe four to 500 channels that you can get for free. And they are just infusing it with ads, free TV in exchange for watching a little bit of ads. That single-handedly was the largest growth metric for Vizio over the last five, six years since it came out in 2019. And it's really allowed them to go from a company that was just kind of like on the edge right there of profitability to now 100% of their profitability comes from this OTT network. So being in a position like Walmart, where they acquire a company that has the profitability and has a provable or proven system of OTT advertising, I think it just opens Walmart up to a whole new area of consumers where they can reach them in a completely different light. So what does this mean for consumers that both already have Vizio TVs sure. and might get it in the future as far as like their data is concerned? So I think the biggest data concern would be like who owns the data, right? Right. And, you know, That's what we, I'm thinking. Right. And we see that when you log into your TV, you basically are saying, you know, this is my information. I'm registering my TV, which I don't know if you've known this, but when you register a device, it's just their way of capturing data. Right. They know who you are now. Email, yeah. They're going to email you coupons. Right. You register so that they know. It's all a big hoax of whether or not you actually have to do that. I never do it. Now, with the registration of the data and the collection of the data, it's a matter of who's going to own it. And basically what Walmart is doing is acquiring all of the legacy data that Vizio has and all of the future data that Vizio will create. So by doing that, they're now going to more legally, but also in a better way, customize the ads that you're seeing. Exactly what we see on social media channels like Facebook or TikTok, they recognize the trends of what you watch and what you search, and they use that to give you ads that you're most likely to convert on. Now we're going to be able to see that from a TV perspective where Walmart will be able to sell you products that you want to see. It's almost like a built-in QVC, but it's not just any product. It's, it's a product that you're thinking would work for you. So does it seem like Walmart is getting into this to get into more of an entertainment industry side or is more of a data consumption analytics commercial side? Because I think you can make the argument for both. I mean, look, Apple, Apple TV, everything, sure. everything has a streaming network now, Paramount, Peacock, all, everything is getting into a stream, it, like magazines, like everything had a magazine and now everything has a streaming service. As you said, they've got their own 500 channels. Is it more of a entertainment area or is it more of a, we want to know more about our customers where yeah. now in their houses, like Amazon has Alexa. Right. right. So it's, they, they, you know, they, they're all in all of your houses. You're talking to them all the time. Is it the same thing or is it different? Well, I mean, honestly, let's face it, right? Data is the biggest and most valuable asset in the world the nowadays. It's right. the king. And they used to say cash is king. Data is king. Data because is king. if you don't know where people are and you don't know what they're interested in, you don't know what to sell them. You don't know what to put in front of them. You don't know how to put it in front of them, right? So Walmart's play is one, a data grab because they want that information. But two, they want the accessibility that comes with Vizio TVs. So now buying that network that has four to 500 channels, I don't believe Walmart's going to go into creating their own entertainment network and an entertainment it, industry. Right, right, they right. Totally it seems could. to be bleeding money for some of the other ones. Exactly. But so that's, why that's, would you that's go where everybody's into it? going. Right. Right. Now you're you know. buying a proven system that's already working and you don't care what entertainment is being shown on there. You, you know, you've already got the 500 channels and they seem to be working. You care about the 90 seconds every 30 minutes or the 90 seconds every 10 minutes where you get to show commercials that drive people to get either online purchases from walmart.com or go in store and make a purchase there. This is all about expanding their market for their main business. Now they have a more direct advertising channel to be able to do that. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you got something out of it and learned something new. If you did, I invite you to please like the video, subscribe to it, maybe comment down below. Let us know what you thought. Are we totally wrong or did we get it right? 
let us know what you think. And if you'd like to see more things like this, join us at prototopics.com, where we're posting more articles and blogs just like we talked about in today's video. And don't forget to join us every week for the live podcast on Thursday nights. That's it for right now. So until next time, create, innovate, and inspire.